People are crazy. Well, I am going to be traveling to Ohio here pretty soon, and I like to recon ahead, maybe uh, scope out a couple good places to eat. Problem is, is when you do Yelp uh, Yelp searches in Ohio for restaurants, it keeps coming up with animal shelters. Well, that debate was interesting. Yeah, I especially love the part where Donald Trump brought up the reports of people eating other people's pets and ABC immediately responded with <laughs> we checked with a city bureaucrat and they said that isn't happening so that's the end of that which means we're in stage one of a four stage reporting cycle stage one is nobody wants to eat your pets which will soon be followed by stage two which is why are you so concerned about people wanting to eat your pets which will then be followed by stage three which is did you know that eating your pets is actually a good thing and then of course it will culminate finally with if you don't eat your pet, you're a white supremacist. Yeah, this is, um, this is the clown world we live in. Contact with law enforcement, and they say... We just want to ask you a few questions off the record. Remember, they lie, they lie, they lie. Law enforcement does not ask questions off the record. They're not news anchors. They're law enforcement. There's no such thing as off the record with the cop. Make sure you exercise your right to remain silent and say that all-important word, lawyer. If you come in contact with law enforcement and they say, We just want to ask you a few questions off the record. Yep, he's right. There is no such thing as off the record. I've been in the hot box a few times myself. Is that what you want? You don't care about the public? You don't care about your oath? Are you an oath breaker? I see y'all pulling more than one vehicle over. That's three vehicles, one car. That's you know, pretty that's, good. Uh, illegal, right? No, it's not illegal. If you can pull three vehicles over with one car, that's exceptional work. I've never been able to do that as a cop. It's not illegal, you jackass. You know that's illegal, right? No, we know it's not illegal, you jackass. You're not supposed to be doing that. I got one car. You know, if you can pull three vehicles over with one car, I'd say that's damn good work. Uh, I've never been able to do it. I've never known anyone else who's been able to do it. But if that's true, good job. How do you communicate with a frauditor? Well, this guy has learned how to communicate with a frauditor. Here's how you do it. Hey, man, you, you know I'm good for it. Hey, Lord. The guy with the billy club has learned how to communicate with the frauditor. That's how you communicate with the frauditor. You have to get his attention. Yeah, that's pretty good. How do you communicate with the frauditor? Well, how do you do it? This is how you... Okay, so when you're communicating with a frauditor, the first thing you have to do is get his attention. If you're going to try and use logic, you know, you're just uh, pissing up a rope, dude. Okay, so the way to communicate with the frauditor is first you have to get his attention. This is called the attention getter. Oh, wow. Look at him give that guy's attention. Oh, yeah. That did it. It's called the attention getter. <laughs> now, people may not like it, but that's the only way. And, you know, it's going to come to that. Which... I believe to be understandable. Imagine you're 15 years old and you have some aging, no job, no life loser standing on the sidewalk recording what is possibly one of the worst days of your life, knowing he is going to blast it all over the internet without consent. Consent that he needs. We'll get into that. She's upset because he is taking that consent from her. Just like any other person is that does not want to be recorded and posted to YouTube. It isn't about the camera. 
it's about the consent. People don't want to be blasted on YouTube because this shit happens. This comment section happens. And when you're 15 years old and the, the world is overwhelming, this is horrible. I don't care who you are or what you stand for. If you can look at this and say, this is a good person doing this to this girl, there is something wrong with you. Truly, something wrong with you. Because this is horrible. The cops recording too. Are they pedophiles or are you just ignorant? Fucking ignorant, man. Uh, we had to blur out this uh, 15 year old's ass, this frauditor. He's in his 50s. And he's uh, recording her ass, and he's getting off on it. Okay. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, we got this aging, overweight, bald-headed, you know, wrinkled ball sack, you know, who has hemorrhoids and has gas. And he's uh, recording this girl. She's underage. She doesn't want to be posted. But, uh... Her image has been blurred out intentionally. Not by the frauditor, but by others. And he can... But you see, the thing is, ma'am, you're a sworn clerk and you're asking me to do something that's not required by law. That's bullshit. Our village attorney, I just talked to her. Yeah. She said any other questions can be related to her. It's going to be amazing when the, when the people get to see how this town responded to a simple request. It's an amazing thing. A simple request? Yeah. You have requested information that has to be filled out by No, the it does not have to be, ma'am. No. There's a right and there's a wrong. Oh. That's right, Shady Shade. You tell that lady. Two wrongs don't make a right. I never heard of such a... Oh, you're so stupid, Shady Shade. Hey, did you go outside with your goats today? Uh, you can go ahead and... Attorney. Sure, yeah. yeah. Attorney Sosnowski said you can contact her for any other information you're requesting. Yeah. She said you need the to thing, fill out the a The thing that I, I just said, ma'am, is that it's not required per statute. But I'll give the attorney a ring. And again... Okay, I mean, these frauditors, uh, if you don't have their attention, you will not communicate with them. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what's going on with that phone. Frauditors are looking for a fight. And they're assholes. Let's get started. We're going to start going to the right to clear out the locker first. We're going to go to the right like this, and then, no, that's your left, baby. This. Yes, good. Do that a couple of times. Good. Now start to slow down and find 22, because that's your first number. Slow down and then hit 22. Bingo. We're going to go to the left. To the left. We're going to start going to the left and go past seven. No, no baby, that was the right. That was, okay, no, it's okay. Let's just start over. We're gonna clear it out again. We're gonna to go to the right, like we did at the beginning, like this. So we're gonna do that a couple times and slow it down to 22. Okay, good. We're gonna to go to the left. And remember, we're gonna pass 17 the first time. Yes, good. And then land on it the second time. No, you, that's, you landed on 37, baby. Yeah, okay. It's fine, let's just go back to the right. Let's just go back to the right. Oh, honey, no, you don't have to cry, no. No, we're going to get it, baby. We're going to get this. We caught this. Let's, you can do it. Okay. Well, actually, they can't do it. Stamp. What is your deal? There is no deal. You? My deal... I'm asking not to record me. That's my personal right. Okay, and I'm telling you that that's not going to happen. So what do you want to do here? I want you to leave, please. I need business. I want you to leave, please. I'm not leaving. I need services. Are you refusing a service? Yes, I am. For what purpose? I asked you not to record me. You're recording me. That's not a legitimate purpose. Like, I don't know how to treat people this way. I didn't treat anybody with any disrespect. Okay. Yes, you did, you jackass. Right now, Twelve-hour shifts every day. Yep, I'm doing my job. Yep, thank you. You're gonna deal with it. I need a stamp. She's working her ass off. Twelve-hour shifts, and she has to put up with this guy's bullshit. And her supervisors don't give a damn. All right, look at this asshole. <laughs> So he clearly did that on purpose. You can see that his stance is wide. He puts his two feet together and then he starts wiggling like a worm and then the pants fall down. Clearly he wanted to make a spectacle and I believe he was successful. 
If Look at this dumbass in his Mormon underwear. Okay, this guy's a Mormon. Uh, if you saw in the police car, they're from Ogden, Utah. Uh, the judge is obviously a Mormon. Uh, this guy's going to get off. He's not going to do any time. Now, he talks about his military experience and how he's been in the military. And he's wearing one of those retired Army hats. U.S. Army retired. I'm going to say this. Without exception, everyone I've met that one wore one of those um, military retiree caps, those baseball caps. Yeah, without exception, every one of them had a weaker military resume than me. Okay? They're always bragging about all their military and how great they are and uh, all their, you know, honor and glory. Ah, uh, bullshit. But this son of a bitch is a Mormon. And he's in Ogden, Utah, which means he's not going to do any time, none whatsoever. And these policemen, who uh, are obviously not Mormon, um, they actually took him in. Uh, they're going to be looking for new employment pretty soon. Yeah, he dropped his pants on purpose because he's a pervert. He's a frauditor and a pervert. Now, another thing about people who like to spew out their military resume without exception, people have done that before I even knew what their name was. Without exception, had a weaker military resume than me. I'm not saying that uh, my resume is all that great. It's just that I don't want to hear about yours in an argument. And so many of these guys with weak military resumes always uh, exaggerate and spew it out during an argument. If he wanted to really make an ass out of himself, mission accomplished. Yeah, he, he had his pants dropped on purpose. But you'll notice over here, Ogden, Utah. Yeah, he's a Mormon. Okay, and he's letting everybody know, well, the judges are going to clear him because uh, I think all judges in the state of Utah are Mormon. That's like one of those unwritten rules. cameras you know they are okay i don't know what that is but it's a camera no we're not no it's pc 148g unholster your weapon don't you unholster your weapon no take your hands off your weapon this is pc 148g what's your name and your id right now what's your what's your name and what's your id what's your name what's your id unholster your weapon you better put your weapon it's a camera you know it is it's a gopro put your weapon back in your holster Get your supervisor here now. It's a friggin' GoPro and you know it is. I'm putting this on video. No. Put your weapon back in your holster. Lower that right now. Dude, just shoot me on. Shoot me on camera. My father was chief of police in Louisville, Kentucky. Shoot me. Watch what happens. Lower that right now. Lower it's a GoPro. I don't care what it is. I'm going to put it right down. Don't you touch it. It's a GoPro. I don't know what that is. Can you put it down, please? Uh, GoPros can be used as weapons. Hey. My name's Trevor. I'm with the Bail Bond Company. I need to talk to Antoine. Girl Scouts? Bail Bond Company. I need to talk to Antoine. Uh, my bad. One more time. My name is Trevor. Okay. I'm with the Bail Bond Company. Bail bondsmen are not law enforcement officers, okay? Okay. And, um, they're, they're a bunch of assholes, too. I've worked with the bail bondsmen. They're, they're jackasses. I need to speak with Antoine. I have a warrant for him. No, you Why can't serve a warrant legally. Right. You don't look anything like Antoine. What's your name, sir? My name? Uh -huh. My name is Philip. Your name is Philip? Yeah. Okay, Philip, do you have an ID with you? No, Philip. But uh, I'm not interested in anything you guys have to sell. Uh huh. But uh, I think you guys have the wrong address. Okay, we definitely don't have the wrong address. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. You want to double check? No, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, I've okay. got the wrong address. Now, do you have an ID with you just so I can mark down who we talked to? No. No? no? My name's not Antoine, though. You I know said, you, like, you said yourself, I don't look anything like Antoine. I think you're Are we going to play these kind of games? I think you need a new hairdresser, jackass. See, I'm not Antoine. Great. What's your last name, Philip? 
Blake. Philip Blake. Yeah. What address you got on there? You got to read the numbers. Hey. Okay. Um. Yeah. There are a lot of dipshits in this world. The cops are uh, not doing us any good. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. We got crazy frauditors. Um, if we have to deal with them, we have. Well, I'm, I just told you how to deal with them. The thing is, um, either you're going to deal with them or they're going to deal with you. And uh, you're not going to solve your problem with the frauditors with the police.